What is up designers, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial and today we're gonna learn the quickest way to steal colors from any photograph in Photoshop. So here we have a screenshot from the famous movie Blade Runner 2049 and we want to take these colors from it because they are really really good. The first thing you want to make sure you have is a little program that is called Lightshot. So it is a free program, you can do download it and it's just very helpful in taking screenshots. So you can just go to this website, I'll link it in the description as well, and download for Windows or Mac, whatever you want. Once you install this program, you press print screen on your keyboard. It'll darken the screen a bit, and here you can select the area that you want to take screenshot of. So for instance, if I wanted to take a screenshot, I can just drag my mouse over here and select this area. Once I release the mouse key, I also get these additional functions. So I can actually scribble something here and then it will be included in the screenshot. But explore this on your own. For now, what we want to do is go back to Photoshop. All right, so we have the program installed and now we want to take the colors from this image. Let's go to File, Export, Save for Web. Or as I like to use my shortcuts, Control or Command, Alt or Option, Shift S. That's going to open up a savings menu and what you want to do here is make sure that GIF is selected and then perceptual option is selected. After that you can type in the number of colors you want it to generate from this image. I'm just going to select five and then here you'll get a color palette from this image. So once you got that, yes you guessed it, this is where we use the application. Press print screen here and then select these colors. Press Control or command C to copy it click cancel, then go to your file wherever you want to paste these colors and press Control or command V and there you go you have your colors here. The only problem is it's a little bit small but you can always zoom in the quality is not lost and then you can just press I on your keyboard or select the eyedropper tool and then select these colors and use them however you want. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please leave a like. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this content created. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.